72 year old woman is brought to the emergency department because of sudden onset of neck pain nausea vomiting and difficulty walking for the past hour she cannot sit upright without popping her without pop, propping herself up on her hand she had a history of hypertension type 2 diabetes mellitus and atrial fibrillation she doesn't smoke she drinks a glass of wine every other evening current medication is enalapril hydrochlorothiazide metformin warfarin she is 162 cm 5 ft and 4 in tall she weighs uh, 68 kg 150 pounds bmi is 27 her temperature is 37 degree her pulse is 103 blood pressure is 205 over 145 which is high and uh, neurologic examination shows down bit nystagmus neck stiffness head bobbing and a broad based gait she is unable to perform a balance test or romberg test what is the most likely cause of this patient condition is injury to which of the following areas so you can see certain findings here that is uh, suggesting us to having any cerebellar defects so patient is not able to perform romberg stein so we can see rule out this options and when the patient has downbeat nystagmus we can rule out floccular nodular because this has up beat and cerebellar hemisphere cerebellar hemisphere causes lateral uh, sorry they are laterally present on cerebellum and it causes limb ataxia while cerebellar vermis which is a correct answer here patient have truncal ataxia and how can we see if patient has truncal ataxia so here classically you see she cannot sit upright without propping herself on her head so this is a classic truncal ataxia when patient needs help of her hands this is classic and the patient has cerebellar cerebellar stroke floccular nodular they have up bit nystagmus and all other symptoms are mostly same frontal lobe patient doesn't have any uh, broad based gait they have in, they have starting they have uh, trouble initiating the gait pyramidal tract and posterior spinal posterior spinal cord they have decrease root touch and pressure and pyramidal tract doesn't present with the uh, nystagmus and a broad base gait so here you can see there are certain symptoms that are matching uh, we'll commonly uh, mostly see here the romberg test cannot be performed whenever there is a truncal ataxia patient has inability to sit upright or stand without support this this is due to damage to cerebellar vermis and whenever they have limb ataxia they have uncoordinated movements of upper and lower extremity they can manifest as this dysmetria other signs that can include is occipital headache neck stiffness and vomit let's identify how to identify uh, any cerebellar lesions there is a, if there is a cerebral ataxia we we check for truncal or is it limb ataxia if they have positive nystagmus or there is no limb ataxia we can see there is a truncal or gait instability which is vermis when our patient has limb ataxia they have dysmetria and dysdidokinesia and they can also have intentional tremor which is seen with cerebral lum hemisphere injury so high hyperacute injury which is seen within minutes 
that can be due to acute toxicity, alcohol, cytarabine, and stroke. So the patient here has cerebellar virus injury. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more.